Hi, my name is Wes Overton, and today we are going over how to build mathematical models on the TI-84 Plus graphing calculator. So one thing before we begin, I am working on the TI SmartView software, so if you have a handheld, this will look exactly the same. But the first thing we want to do is make sure our Y equals is cleared. So if I click that, I want to check to make sure these equations are all clear. And then the next thing we're going to do is enter some data. So I'm going to click stat and then I'm going to click one for edit. Now I've already typed in the data for time's sake but you would simply type in generally you want what is on your x-axis to be in list one, what is on your y-axis to be in list two. If there is data in there from previous users if you go up and highlight that list number and then go to clear that will clear that list so next we want to look at a graph to see what type of model I might want to use and we're actually going to do this as a scatter plot so we're going to use the stat plot so because stat plot is, is in blue I want to go to second y equals alright if any of these are other ones are on, I want to turn them off, but I want to turn plot one on, so I'm going to hit one or click enter. I'm going to hit enter to make sure on is highlighted. I want to go down to make sure I have my scatter plot highlighted because in this case that is what I want. My x-axis will be list one, my y-axis is list two. If those are different from, from whatever you want, the list are in blue above one, two, three, four, and five. And since they're in blue, if I wanted a, a list, I could hit second list two, it'll show up there. Now, we are doing a scatter plot. So the quickest way to do that is go to zoom. And if you do this enough and your students get used to hearing you say zoom nine, you know, they know that that is zoom stat and that is automatically going to zoom fit it to this scatter plot. So you can hit zoom nine, you can scroll down and hit enter and it takes you to your scatter plot. If you would like to see the individual values, you can always click trace and then you can use your right arrows to see those values and they show up down here. Now we want to do some regression or try to build a model. So to do that, we're going to go back to our stat, and then we're going to go to the right to calculate. So here's a couple different options we have. So we can go down to four, does a linear regression, five does a quadratic regression, and then you could scroll down to zero, does our exponential regression. So let's look at what a linear regression looks like choosing four. So same thing as earlier, I want my X list to be L1, Y list to be L2, uh, change any of those if they do not match your data. The frequency list is not needed here. Next, this is store the regression equation. So this is handy uh, if you want to use that equation, maybe you want to look at some predicted values. So the quickest way to get there is go to alpha and then trace. That is a shortcut to get you to your y variables. And I can hit one for y1. So this is going to store the regression equation in y1. Another little longer way would be go to vars, go to the right and go to y vars, and then go to one and go to function and choose y1. But once you get the hang of a couple of these shortcuts that makes life a whole lot easier going alpha trace to pull that up and then we're going to hit calculate. So here are my parameters. That is my A value, that is my B value. If I would like to look at the graph, I can go back to graph. That equation is graphed. If I, if I would like to see values, I can hit trace. So you'll notice it goes on the actual dot plots. If I click up, now I'm tracing on that line. So I can either manually trace with my keys, either the left and right arrow, I can also enter an x value, say x value of 25, or that would be 2, let's try 25, and it shows you right there. 
So any other models you would like, uh, you do the different regression. So I could go to stat, back to cal. If I would like to do a quadratic model, I could choose five. I could store, I could use a different list. So I could go to alpha trace again. And this time I could go to Y2 and then I'm gonna go to calculate. And there are my parameters for my quadratic regression. Now, the one downfall here is it only does it in standard form, but I could still hit graph. There's my regressions. I could go to trace. So right now I'm on the, the data points. I could hit down, takes me to the line and down again takes me to the quadratic regression. And a very, very similar, if I want to do the exponential model, I could go to cal, I could scroll down to zero, and same thing, and I could choose a different list. So I'll go alpha trace, go to y3, and go to calculate. And there are my parameters for my exponential model, and I could go to graph. But that is how the regression looks like or building mathematical models with a TI-84.